This week's challenge was the main bedroom and ensuite. David and Tiffany added a sitting room to the main suite and a beautiful floating tub to the main bathroom. Nate and Jeremiah draped the wall behind the headboard and added a gorgeous double vanity with sconces to their bathroom. Brian and Mika created a spa-like retreat in the main bedroom and a huge double rain shower head in the main bath. In the end, Allison and Mike took home their second win of the season, constructing a bold wooden wall that extended to the ceiling in the bedroom and a striking ombre tiled main bathroom. So Egypt and Mike came and judged the main bedroom challenge. How surprised were you when Egypt and Mike gave Allison and Mike the win? Hearing Allison and Mike winning, you know, Allison and I obviously were very close, and so she was telling me the things that she was doing, and she was so proud of it, and for Allison to be so proud of something that I know that it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and polished because her taste level is very delicious. But then I walked through like Mika and Brian's main suite and I was like, I don't know how that was not even, uh, like what? Like that, that made my jaw drop. I remember, you know, hearing, you know, who they gushed about, but I'm not sure about, you know, the winner because Mika definitely did do more to her owner suite than what Allison did. I can say that hands down. Oh yeah, I mean, Allison didn't do anything. They, she just kept the same footprint. I'm sorry, but her closet, I think, closet put her over dream. the edge. Yeah. That was jaw dropping. That was the best part of her. Wow, it was all pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> did it surprise you when you saw that Brian and Mika's closet connected to the laundry room? I thought it was great. That's exactly what I want to do with my space. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's so easy and I, they got dinged on it. And that's when Mika was like this. Hey! Oh no. boy, wow. I did this, we did this, we <laughs> did this, we did this. So I was like, you get him, girl, you get him, girl. That week I did give a little bit lip to the judge. But it was so hard because we really almost picked yours, Mika and Brian, you did such a great Very job. So. I'm a little pissed. We put our blood, sweat, and tears last night. Um, so we thought we had a win. I realize it stings a little bit, just a little, but sure. you could have been a little braver. Okay. With the design. It was the safest space. Safe cells. I like want to hide. <laughs> Did you see the laundry room in that space? No, we couldn't because there so was no door. Do we actually doubled the size of our laundry room. I have a feeling I'm not on your Christmas list anymore. We're going to win it all. We're going to try to win the overall competition. They can have the weekly challenges. Allison specifically said, and I love you, girl, and I told uh, her this. I told her this. I told yep. her this, so I, I'm fine with saying it. During um, the judging, she said something in regards to Oh, well, the laundry rooms were so big anyways, we didn't put any money in there. I almost turned red. After she knew we already had doubled our laundry Which room. is hard for me to do, okay? <laughs> I was like, oh, no, 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 don't just say that because you know that laundry room is not big, girl. Don't even go there. Connecting the main closet to the laundry room, in my opinion, was genius. I mean, that was one of those things that it's a no-brainer. That's what we thought, I know, but we lost. We lost that Again, week. Again, it was like crazy. That was the only week it was a blind judging. Oh, yeah. I feel like if we got to be in that space with the judges, we I think we could have sold that space better, but with us not being there, I think that kind of hindered us that week. Another judge fail. Ugh, babe. Sorry, it was. It was another judge fail. In your opinion. They fell in love with Allison's design style, yeah. which is absolutely fair. Do I think that Allison and Mike added the most value that week? I still don't know. Yeah, I actually think that Brian and Mika that week, if I had to be honest with you, I felt like they were the ones that probably added more value. I mean, I don't need a, a door to my laundry room from my bedroom, but they yeah. did increase that laundry room. I thought their bathroom, you know, design-wise wasn't for me, but it was big and the layout was really nice. If you were a buyer and you walked into that main bathroom and it had that tile, would you buy the house? Allison and Mike? Yeah. No. No. Did you like it? I liked it in the sense that I'd never seen anything like it before. Yeah. yeah. I thought that it was taste specific. I wasn't sure exactly how um, much I would like it in say eight to 10 years. Yeah, but it was beautiful. Like the work, I mean, it was, it, it was beautiful.
When we won it, it was because of true function of that space and how those judges saw themselves living in it and the, the things that they needed most, which were the his and hers closet. And we brought home the win. We brought it in big time. What was so cute about that, Allison, is that from the beginning, the very first week is that you said, I want the kitchen and I want the bedroom and bathroom to get the kitchen and then to get the main bathroom, main bedroom, walk-in closet. That was just, uh, again, icing on the cake. And we knew, we started seeing so many people come into the house just to see it, whether it was the cleaning crew or the executive producers or production assistants. Everyone wanted and needed to see this space because they heard about it. And you kind of just start to go, okay, it's really great. I want to know what went on when the cameras were off. So much drama. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, you know, it, start, it starts off the first day, I remember us thinking, God, this is gonna be such a joy ride. And then in three days, you're like, whoa, whoa. The construction was a beast. It was so much work and, you know, people are stretched thin. I don't know if the show will ever be able to properly articulate the amount of work that went into each space and the time. I mean, there was days that we were there at 7 a.m. and we didn't leave till 1.30 at night in the morning the next day. And then we were back at 6 a.m. What do I not know? What went on when the cameras were off? Oh gosh. Sleep, exhaustion, <laughs> silence. I was happy that I could close my door and shut my eyes for five seconds. I didn't get that 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 type of uh, luxury. I was stressed, but trying to remember that I was having fun to kind of top off that stress. Well, some of the things we did behind the scenes is I, I bought this stereo and I put it inside the trailer. And as much as we could, you know, when we were down for an hour or so, on would go the music. So there was some bouncing, some fun. Okay, camera crew going home. It's probably 10 o'clock or later. We loved our work crew. So, I mean, yes. we would go and, and get, um, you know, just some beverages and some pizzas, just letting them know that we like appreciated it. You know, I think that's my, that might be why they work so hard for us. But I think that by creating just respect from day one, it, it really paid off. What was the most challenging part of this process for each of you? The timeline was really challenging. And then on top of that, Nate and I are so obsessed about details and making sure that things were perfect, especially because we were trying to bring new ideas and new concepts to the house and to the show. So that was really stressful. I mean, we were there on average till at least midnight for every challenge and sometimes later. I think for me, the biggest challenge though was probably being in a competition because you know it's not part of my collective experience at all. Like I've hosted, I've produced, I've never been a competitor ever. You're right, the competition component, I did not like. That was my least favorite part of it. Not the most challenging, but definitely my least favorite. I'm afraid what you're gonna say. I'll answer first. I think Please don't say your teammate. No, it wasn't. I mean, we already worked together. We've been working together for 10 years, so I think that we are pretty established in knowing strengths and weaknesses. But you know, I think it was just the amount of always having to not only be on because cameras are on you, mm -hmm. but you know, there was times where they would try to film a scene, but I'm really just worried about the space getting done. So I think time management was the toughest for me, for sure. The schedule, like it was just insane. Like it was like in at seven and out at 12. And it's like, it's just a lot. You know, there's so much going on. There's so much to manage. And when you think you're ahead of the game, there's another project looming behind you. And so therefore you have literally zero breaks. And even though you're off camera for maybe a day or two, you're not done working. You are out shopping and maneuvering and finding this and that. It's, yeah, it's a lot. It's so much more than I ever thought. The most challenging thing for me in Rock the Block is that uh, I'm the leader, I'm the boss. I always have been, but I'm at, the mercy of other people. And this not being the judge this time was probably the hardest thing for me. For me, what the new challenges were, everybody else, they knew each other. Not only because they were married, but because they had worked together in some capacity. And so you and I were truly what I consider this power couple that had never met. The challenges were ridiculous. It, you know, they were. They're fun. You could tell it was like, let's stress them out even more. The third challenge was a paint challenge and we got this like color that we had to incorporate into the main bedroom and bathroom. And it was 
not a color that either one of us are a fan of. And there was a piece of us that were like, this could go really, really badly for us. Before and after. after. We did not play by the rules necessarily, but we left that up for interpretation. I think we played by the rules. 